What is up, YouTube? It is Doki or Doki Style Gaming, and I am back at it again with another golf ball video for you all today. Where we're going to be taking a look at the free Lightbringer update and going over everything that we know so far, or at least what we can expect so far from what we got from some of the trailers and footage as of late. We're going to be taking a look and speculating a bit about the new game mode and talking a bit about the curse loot as well, what it might actually be like, and what players might be able to expect from it. So, like I always say, without wasting any more of y'all's time, let's actually hop straight into this info. So the first thing I think it's safe to assume that we should talk about when it comes to the Lightbringer update is the Lightbringer game mode. Now what we've gathered from the trailer so far is something has appeared in the realms or from the sky that is now causing darkness to take hold of everything. And in one shot, we even see this huge dark energy effect that's on the map with some type of pedestal right underneath it that we'll be able to activate. Now, along with those dark bubbles that we see, we also see bright lanterns as well. I'm assuming being a source of light to the darkness. And in the gameplay that we see so far, there seems to be two distinct areas. One that's the pure darkness area with this orb above it and the pedestal. And then we also have the huge lantern-like areas that have all the light around it. Now what's interesting about the game mode when it comes to the enemy types is that it seems like just about any enemy can spawn here. Potentially some new ones, who knows, but we definitely are seeing some that look to be from the Fire Realm and just some potential new ones in general, but we are also seeing some of the base game enemies spawn as well on top of darkness enemies now they just seem to be dark versions of enemies that already exist think of like the taken from destiny but it's still unique that we're going to be getting even more enemy types on top of what we're getting with the fire and darkness expansion now in another shot we also get to see what seems to look like we're carrying an orb up these stairs now potentially we're bringing it to somewhere but i do like the fact that this game mode seems to have multiple mechanics Whereas when it comes to some of the current ones that are already in the game, like Dreamstones and even Ascended Towers of Trials, yeah, some of the rooms have different things you can do, and Dreamstones, essentially, it's just you fighting some of the same bosses and mid-bosses that you've played in the game. This new Lightbringer game mode, on the other hand, actually seems to be a legit game mode with different mechanics, and personally, I feel like it's something that is much needed in Godfall. Because as much as I love Towers of Trials and Dreamstones, especially with it being reworked, an actual game mode with somewhat of mechanics is always the right next step for a new endgame. Now, do I think it's going to be on the level of like Destiny Raids when it comes to the mechanics? I highly doubt it, but a new game mode that seems to be somewhat mechanic driven is always a nice thing. But for the most part, just breaking down some of what was gathered in the trailer, that's all we kind of have to go on so far when it comes to the Lightbringer game mode. It definitely seems to have something to do with both a light and darkness mechanic to the game and two specific areas as well. There's also some type of orb that you have to carry to potentially one of the other areas and something lore wise or potentially just from the sky seems to be the cause of all of this. But now let's move over to one of the other topics or things that we'll be able to obtain with the Lightbringer update being the brand new cursed items. Now, what we know so far is that cursed loot will have unique objectives to them that allow players to have to lift the curse to awaken it. Now, I've also hinted at there might be some other mechanics to it as well, but for what we know so far, it seems to be something similar to that of Rivens from Warframe. The type of loot item that you get, or in Warframe since a mod, that you have to unlock to gain something from it. Whether it be new bonus stats for your weapons or whatnot, it seems like cursed loot might be somewhat similarly following suit. Now, in the trailer, we actually kind of get a brief look at how some of the cursed loot's going to look as well. Now, we already know that whenever loot drops in game, it's the standard beam of light. Whenever you get any primal items in game, there's the swirling beam of light. And now when it looks like whenever you get cursed items in the game, there's black smoke that emanate off the loot drops. So if your loot drops are looking a little darker than normal or smokier than normal, those might be cursed items. Now, just from some of the stuff I may or may not know, I feel like Cursed Loot is going to be a pretty dope mechanic in game once players get their hands on it, because I feel like it might add a bit more of a unique gameplay style to how most people are going to want to play Godfall. But that's all I'll get into for now. Now, lastly, what's also coming with the free Primal update this August 10th is going to be the new cosmetics dropping in game. 
We got a brief look at a few of them for Illumina, Silvermane, and Armistice in the trailer, but you best believe there's going to be some for every single Valor played in game. And yes, some of them look fantastic. Again, that's all I'll say on that. But all in all, for a free update, this is pretty impressive on top of everything we're already going to be getting. Again, there's going to be the paid expansion as well. It's going to be coming to PS4 and we're going to be getting matchmaking finally as well, which I didn't even touch on in here either. So all of this for free on top of everything else that's coming, I feel like is Godfall taking a step finally in the right direction for what a lot of players are hoping to be the continuation or the future of this game. If they keep adding content and DLC like this every time, I feel like that is the best move. Give a bit of stuff for the free players and give some stuff to the people who might want to pay as well without locking any of the major content like in-game modes or exclusive loot to free players. But that's all I'm going to touch on for this one. Let me know what you all personally feel about this free update coming literally in about a month now. So we're going to be getting our hands on this pretty soon along with the matchmaking finally very soon as well. But let me know if you are excited for this update or if you think maybe there should have been more. I'm kind of curious to see how some players are actually gauging this update for both the expansion and the free update. Are players okay with this method or do you think you still deserve a bit more for the free update? Again, let me know in the comment section below because I am very curious. But other than that, definitely leave a like if you liked the video. If you didn't, still leave a like. And if you haven't joined the Discord, like I always say, definitely do that as well. Links to that is in the video description. But other than that, I will catch y'all all in the next one. Thanks for watching, like always. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. Peace.